Welcome to another fantastic episode of the Share Charity TV show. We've got so much to talk about today, Sangaji. But before we do that, we just want to say thank you to everybody that's been donating. Starting with somebody from Scotland, finally, Benji. Oh, somebody from Scotland has done it. And a massive donation as well. Thank you very much for the £5,000. Mandeep Singh, thank you very much for that. And who else, Benji? We've got Lakriya Gill from Coventry. Thank you very much for your donation. That's right, yeah. And also Mark Elia from Kent as well. Thank you very much, Mark, for your donation and think, everybody else as well. Yeah, I think it's nice now to say to the European Sangha, we've had Scotland, we've got England, and maybe somebody out in Wales, do you want to make a donation? Please feel free, just follow it down the bottom to make your donations. That's right, okay. Uh, what I really want to talk about, Benji, this week is it's the eye donations. camp. The yeah. eye camp yeah. has been amazing. Last week, we had the eye camp in Hamachal Pradesh, a really poor part, as some of you may know. And we had a massive response there, Benji. A lot of people came. Obviously, these people cannot all afford medical no. treatment. So, so your donations that we plead for, like we're making a plea now again yes. for your donations, actually is going down to your roots. It's going out there, touching ground level to people who just can't access that kind of facility so yes, over absolutely. 100 people attended the, uh, the opportunity. Hundreds of people yeah. actually, hundreds of people attended and the great thing was out of all those people that attended I think it's something like 80, 80 yeah. have been booked in for some sort of operation on their eyes or something else that was picked up during that actual health screening that we did uh, as part of that camp so that's amazing Seva, thank you very much for being part of that, yeah. keep going, <laughs> keep doing more like that, keep sending us the Nenish so we can do more and more Seva in Punjab and other areas of Marshall and other areas as well which we really really want to push forward now in, in the next year or so. Our uh, share team is out there and has been out there has been sending us footage has yeah. been sending us actually information and one of the key information they shared with us this week was the fact that out of all the people that attended there were five very crucial almost yeah, really casualties critical. that, yeah, critical yeah. Casualties that yeah. have been avoided the fact that they came in they had that assessment and the yes. Guru Sahib perhaps the Guru Sahib that they received the medical attention that they needed before yes. anything else that happened. So Absolutely. thank you so much for your donations and keep the donations coming in. So yeah. I think it's really important that we share some of the stuff that we've been uh, receiving from our uh, volunteers. Team out there, yeah, it'd be great. Is it possible, guys, that you could just run some of the videos that we've, uh, we've recorded out there that they've sent over? It'd be really good for the Sangat to see as well. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh. Aaj asi pend hira jo ke Himachal de district unna de bich penda ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਦੀ ਯਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਥੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਬਲੱਡ ਡੋਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਕੈਂਪ ਲਗਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਸਾਰਾ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਏਟਿਵ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਜੋ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੀ ਰਜਿਸਟਰਡ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਦੇ ਸਹਿਯੋਗ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਕੈਂਪ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਸੰਸਥਾਵਾਂ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਚੈਰਿਟੇਬਲ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਕੁੱਕੜ ਮਜਾਰਾ ਅਤੇ ਬਲੱਡ ਡੋਨਰ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਨਵਾਂ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਸਹਿਯੋਗ ਨਾਲ ਬਲੱਡ ਡੋਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਕੈਂਪ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਲਗਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਸਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਦਮਗਜੇ ਮਾਰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਦ ਕੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਮਨ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਚ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਕਿ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ 5-500 ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਭਾਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਕੈਂਪ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਪਿੰਡਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਡੀਕਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਕਦੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦਾ ਇਸ ਇਲਾਕੇ ਚ ਕੈਂਪ ਲਾਵੇ so sangat ji your your donations there hand on heart you can see where your money is going so if you felt a little bit empowered by seeing those clips or you want to get involved or you want something happening in your pend in, in punjab why not you know just let's do seva ultimately and let's help the people that can't help themselves and all the maya that you're sending over is going to go towards projects like that helping those people ke di badi galla ke to see ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੋਸ਼ਨੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗੀ ਜਾਂ ਦੇਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਇਮੇਜਿਨ ਕਰੋ ਕੋਈ ਤੁਰੇ ਚੱਲੀ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਔਖੀ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਮਾਇਆ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਹਾਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਹੋਈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਉਹਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਹਨਾ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਫੈਂਟਾਸਟਿਕ ਸੇਵਾਜ਼ ਨੇ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ 
It's just absolutely important. Guruji Kushil and Oli Galayana. So please keep keep the donations coming. And also, if you want to help as well, please get in touch. We'd love you to be on board. Yes. This project is for the month, isn't it, Benji, yes. as well? And I'm spreading Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message everywhere. I know that's what really what we, what we want to do. But also, like Benji said, if you want a similar blood donation camp or health screening camp or eye camp in your area, in your bend or somewhere, wherever you feel is appropriate, where there's a need, then please get in touch and let's see if we can get that organized for Absolutely. you, right? Absolutely. Excellent. Share Charity UK bring you another fantastic book from Sikh history, Guru Nanak and the Boulder. Wonderful illustrations and a little reflection quiz. It's written in rhyme for you and your offspring to enjoy. The book is available on eBay and Amazon now. Okay, so what's on tonight's show? Benji, in Cards Club, do you know what's on tonight? I think we're going to see Shira Singh again. I like Wicked. seeing Shira Excellent. Singh again. But I think the focus this week is on Guru Ram Dashi with all the celebrations Great. that have been taking place. Oh, hence your suit. Absolutely. Oh, very nice. So we've got to celebrate Guru Ram Dashi's Guru Purv, uh, which is fantastic and a great opportunity and some great pictures I saw from Punjab yes. Yes. Uh, this yes. week as well. Yes. People sending their footage over. So amazing celebrations around Darbar Sahib and really, really nice. Um, parenting this so week as well? We've got parenting tips, our uh, weekly slot, just giving you some guidance about some tips and, and some guidance on raising your children. And, and some thoughts this week on um, sharing the load. Oh, that sounds painful. Okay, uh, share Sikhi section by the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about that. You're going to see lots of it later on. So uh, let's move on. We've got a very valuable health section with uh, by Harbi Sengji. So look out for that. That's right. Yeah, some really good fun stuff in there. And the competition. Yes. Competition update later on. Uh, you guys have got to get involved with Stay that. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, loads of good prizes. Yeah, we've got viewers' videos all. Don't forget that as well. So keep those viewers' videos coming in as well. Yeah, and then at the end, there's always the outtakes, outtakes, which you probably love all the mistakes we make. But it's all good fun. So let's crack on with the show. So Castle Club tonight is looking at Guru Ram Vashti Maharaj wow. and I don't know about you Fiji but my phone has been inundated with footage and, and live footage from the Darbar side. The celebrations that have been taking place this week have been breathtaking. The, the Shah with which Sangat in Punjab have celebrated yeah. Guru has been absolutely amazing. Beautiful absolutely pictures. Amazing, yes. Yeah, good stuff. Look forward to this bit. Welcome to the Castle Club Show. I'm Kieran Kaur, and with me I have some beautiful assistants. So, Chef Ishwar Kaur. Chef Ishwar Kaur. <laughs> okay, and you are? Sukuni Kaur. Sukuni Kaur. Okay, do you know what we're going to be doing today? Hmm? What are we yes. doing today? What are we doing? I'm cooking. We're cooking. We're making a cake. cake. For who? Guru Ram Das Ji. For Guru Ram Das Ji. She's good for. All right. Okay. She's a lucky girl. That would be what. <laughs> And it was Guru Ram Das Ji's Gurpur, wasn't it? Yeah. So because it was Guru Ram Das Ji's Gurpur, we're going to make something very special. And what's special? What do you make on somebody's birthday in Gurpur? Oh, cake. 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 So, children, get your pens and your pencils ready. We're going to talk to you about how to make a cake. So you need to write down some ingredients, okay? <laughs> right. We have 300 grams of, so Connie, what flour is it? Supreme sponge. So it's McDougal's Supreme sponge of 300 grams. We've got 300 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of butter. willow butter, and we've got one tin of evaporated milk and a tablespoon of vanilla essence, just for flavouring. Right, so firstly, we're going to start off with putting butter into the bowl. So that was 200 grams of butter into the bowl, please, Ishwa. You can use the spoon to take it off. Make sure you put it all in there. Yeah. Okay, so once we mix the butter in, so when we're going to be mixing the cake, I'm going to talk to you some, about some facts about Guru Ram Das Ji. So I think that's really important. Right, so while we've got the butter in there, we're going to add the 300 grams of sugar into the bowl. Right, okay, 
Lovely. So what we need to do is just mix it. Mix it. Okay. So what we what do we do when we're mixing the food? What should we do? Why couldn't simmer? So let's do what let's do about half a minute of simmering while we're mixing, yeah? So come on then. Wahi guru. Wahi guru. Wahi guru. Wahi guru. Wahi guru. Guru wahi guru. Do you want to have a bit of mixing each one? Wahi. Lovely simmer. Why do we do cinnamon when we cook it? So then all of the love goes into the food. Yeah, so whatever we do while we're cooking goes into the food and then it goes into whatever our children eat and the family eat. So it's really important to do some cinnamon, isn't it? Okay, so once we've mixed the butter in, what is the next ingredient that we put in? This. No. This. Evaporated milk. Yep. Okay, so just before we put that in, should we do one fact about Guru Ram Das Ji as well? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so who was Guru Ram Das Ji? The fifth Guru. No, Guru Ram Das Ji was the fourth Guru. Fourth Guru, that's right. Shall I give you another fact about Guru Ram Das Ji? Yeah, he was born in 1534 and he lived to the age of, do you know what age he lived to? 46, that's right. Okay, so before we go on about another fact about Guru Ram Das Ji, I just want to show you the cake mixture. So now that we've mixed it, it will look like this. So that was the caster sugar and the butter mixed together so it's nice and thick. Okay, so now at this stage, we will add in the evaporated milk. So Sukhmani, if you could just add that in for us in a minute. Go on, if you add it in the flip into the bowl. Uh -oh. No, it doesn't matter. It's all in there. So the whole tin of evaporated milk will go into this bowl. And we will then and we will then whisk it now. Guru Ram Das Ji was married to Bibi Bunny Ji. And she was the daughter of Guru who was the who was she the daughter of? Guru, guru Amadas Ji. And what Guru was Guru Amadas Ji? The third Guru. Third Guru. Yeah, that's good. You're doing simran while you're making the cake. So did you know that before Guru Ram Das Ji, um, before his name was Guru Ram Das Ji, he was called by Jetta Ji. Okay. Right, so at this stage now, so this is what our mixture looks like. A bit watery with a little bit of lumps. That's fine because all the lumps will come out. We will now need to add in the flour. Okay, so what we do is we'll put in half of the bowl first. So if we put in half of the bowl first, then you can put the other half in each. So wait on it. That's it. You hold on to that then. Just wait a second. So put half of the mixture in because what happens if you put the whole mixture in, it's too hard to mix. So we're going to keep mixing now until the next till it gets a bit thick. Can you see that it's starting to change? Yeah. Yeah? So it's getting a bit thicker, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll keep swirling it round. Okay. And all these lumps, we'll try and get them out as much as we can. Otherwise, they'll melt when they go in the oven anyway, so it'll even itself out. All right, so, do you, sure? do you want to add the other half in? There we go, well done. Okay, so we're mixing this so it goes really thick and all the lumps are taken out. Okay, also, did you know that Guru Ram Das Ji had three sons? And his youngest son became the next Guru. So Guru Ram Das Ji was the fourth Guru. Who was the fifth Guru? Guru Arjun Dev Ji. Yeah, that's right. So the fifth Guru is Guru Arjun Dev Ji and he was Guru Ram Das Ji and Bibi Bani Gaur's youngest son okay so remember that children okay so i just want to quickly show you the mixture it's nice and thick it should be looking like this all creamy and thick so once our mixture looks like this all thick what we're going to do is we can this time around we're going to make some cupcakes for you all so rather than a slab cake or a um, two top tier cake hey, we're going to make a what's going on in here oh hello <laughs> Hello everybody! 
What's going on here? We're making cupcakes, that's what we're doing. Are you going to oh, come and help wow. us? Yes, please. I love having cupcakes. Okay. Are okay. they for me? Um, no, they're not actually. No. Who are they for? Oh. Um, Guru Ram Dasji. Guru Ram Dasji. They're for the Guru Ram Was it his birthday? Yes, we're taking some cupcakes yeah. to the Guru, aren't we? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put them in some cupcake cases. So so funny if we just bring them along, which we prepared earlier. Okay. Brilliant. Right. So usually with this one now, you could either put it into one tray and make a whole big slab cake, or you could put it into a sandwich tin, so you make two cakes and then put icing in the middle and then put it on top. So this same mixture will make all sorts of cakes. So with this one, we're going to make... Big door, there's nothing in there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm just going to show just them what it looks like. Empty. Right, if you want to give us a hand, you need to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you need to do is you need to wash your hands then if you want to give us a help. Oh yeah. Give us a hand. I'm right. gonna go and just wash my hands quickly. Okay. Right. While Big Dugan washes his hands, should we start putting this mixture in? Did you know that Guru Ram Dasji wrote six hundred and thirty-eight Shabads in the Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Wow! That's, that's a lot. Amazing. That's, that's a lot, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, one big spoon of that, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So, 638 shabbas, and did you know they were all done in different rags? And guess how many rags there were? I don't know. Bit do you know? No. No? 30 different rags. How intelligent wow. was Guruji? Very. Very intelligent, wasn't he? Okay, so one of the main shabbas that Guruji wrote was the Lama they bought. Do you know when that's read? No. No? It's read during a wedding. So whenever you get married, yeah. that Alama the part is read. And oh, that wow. is all written by Guru Ram Das Ji. Oh, Beautiful, wow. isn't it? When you read the meanings of it, it's amazing. And did you know that Guru Ram Das Ji constructed Harmandha Sahib Ji? Oh, isn't, don't people also call that the Golden Temple? Yes, that's right. But it was known as Ram Daspur. But, wow! But then it was renamed as Amutsa, which is like the world's known place now. I want to go there! Oh, it's amazing! Right, so the cupcake mixtures are all set and they're in the cases ready to go into the oven. So usually you can make about 24 cupcake, um, cupcakes, but then sometimes if you use the smaller cases you can get a bit more out of these. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop them in the oven. So what you would have to do is preheat your oven to 140 degrees, between 120 and 140 degrees, and in the oven for about 20 minutes. So, so Pony, would you like to set the timer on our little clock? Ta -da! Ta -da! Right, we've finished with the cupcakes. Don't they look amazing? So what we've done is we've iced them and we put some sprinkles on them. So at home you can do whatever you'd like. Um, so if you want to do fresh cream icing with um, fruit, and if you want to put um, <laughs> no, like somebody's excited. If you want to put um, ready-made icing on, or if you'd like to put icing with a bit of lemon flavouring on, whichever you prefer, you can top them up however you want. So the girls wanted to do unicorn ones, so we'll have them ready to take to, a, to the good daughter with us. So what we'll do now is we'll go and get ready, and we'll prep these up, and we'll take them to the good daughter, yeah? Come on, let's go and get ready. Oh, what's this, Avaria? Mm. Oh, they smell beautiful. Oh, I think oh, I'm going to have a few of these. Don't think anyone will know, do you? Mmm. Should I have them? Or should I be good and not have it? I think I'm going to have some now. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Girls, can you do me a favour and grab the cakes for me, please? Yeah. Oh my God, you did this.
got a stomach ache. Bit two, where are you? Right, bit two, what's the matter? Oh, I've got a bit of a stomach ache. And why have you got a tummy ache? Oh, oh, I don't know. Well, I think we know the answer to that, don't we, girls? Yeah. Who ate all the cakes? Uh, it was Ishwa. Really? Was it, was it Ishwa? Oh, oh, sorry. What have we told you before about lying and stealing? <coughs> oh. <laughs> Bitu, you're very naughty. Oh, sorry. You need to say sorry to all the children that won't get cakes now. Oh, I've got some cakes. Right, you can rest here while we go to the good Oh. We hope you've enjoyed the show and learned a cake recipe and maybe you can make this on a good book or any family birthdays. Um, I also hope that you've enjoyed loads of facts about Guru Ram Das Ji. So we hopefully see you soon. So Rai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Rai Guru Ji Ki Excellent. Okay, don't forget the competition. We've only got a few more weeks left and you've got to get your entries in. Really, really got to because you're going to miss out otherwise on the great prizes which we showed you earlier on and they might be showing you right now on the screen. But listen, you're going to miss out if you don't get your stuff in. How do we get your stuff in, Benji? So they can email us, follow us on the Share Charity website, look us, look us up on there or you can Instagram us or Facebook us. You might have a recommendation, somebody's artwork that you've seen, find out who that is. Don't send us a clip, send us a photograph, we don't mind. Send their details in crucially that we need to know who they are. Yes, absolutely. Get your entries in, please. Oh, that was really interesting, was wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. What's next? I think you should look away next. It's parenting tips, and this this okay. week we're looking at sharing the load. I think sometimes really? without realizing a lot of uh, a lot of the chores, you know, it's a little bit left on the uh, the female people. Really, this sounds painful. This section, <laughs> not sure. And I, I think watch it's, this. It's, it's quite nice. What to good be saying? I've been the food got to do, and then looking at it and analyzing it, and trying to just raise awareness and on how we can change that stereotype yeah, from a gourmet perspective, yes. which is really important. Yes. Great. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh and welcome to today's section of the Parenting Show where Navroop Gaur and I will be talking about the roles and responsibilities that we share in the house. The reason this is important for us is that we want our children to grow up and not believe in the gender norms that society have created for us. Gender roles within the household are very important and often not consciously thought about in our everyday life. The physical activity we perform around the home sends unconscious messages to our children on what role they will fit into later in life. The mother is often seen in the kitchen cooking a meal, while the father is changing a light bulb for instance. Sadhguruji wanted us to break these gender stereotypes by allowing women to partake in actions same as the male. For example, jung, war, defending ourselves, wearing of the star, or having a high level of spirituality, which is often male-focused. Washing up. To be honest with you, I don't enjoy doing it, normally because when the sink is so full up, I don't know where to start. But I had a thought that if I don't enjoy washing up at home, how comes when it comes to the Gurdwara, when there's a sink that's full up, why do I enjoy doing it there? If I'm happily washing the dishes at the Gurdwara, I should be doing it at home as well. I need to be sending a strong message to my children that we must be true to ourselves in the home and outside as well. So the message is, Seva starts at home. It's important to teach our daughters that while learning to cook is a great life skill, so is using a drill or how to change a tyre. We should also be teaching our sons how to cook, how to wash their clothes and definitely how to treat a girl. It's important that our children see us practising equality and breaking gender norms, just as our Satguruji did hundreds of years ago. When Navrukwa was pregnant with Gobind Singh, we had a very challenging pregnancy and in that time 
I found myself doing a lot of the housework. When I reflect on that, previously I used to think that I was doing my bit, but really I wasn't even scratching the surface of the daily role a mother and a wife plays. Because of this, not only have I learnt new skills, but I have found my daughters coming to me with things that they would usually go to their mother for, such as questions about their lunch and where their favourite item of clothing is. I've watched my actions break gender norms in their subconscious and help bring equality into our house. So our health segment this week looks at exercise and by her being saying now is going to get everybody off the couch. Oh my god, so get ready, yeah, if you're, uh, if you're having your lunger or whatever, put that to one side because he's going to get you uh, active, this should, this should be really fun. Welcome to healthy workout number one, four minutes to healthier, stronger, suppler, more you. We're going to get right into it with walking on the spot. If you're able to, I want you to bring your knees up higher, closer towards your chest 
if you're not able to stick with a walk but use your arms so that you can get your heart rate pumping and your body warmed up which is really important so we don't get an injury while we go we're going to keep an eye on the time so make sure that we don't run over our four minutes because you can stick the kettle on and have your cup of tea at the end of it so now we're going to get right into the first exercise which is press ups but don't worry because we're going to go through lots of variations so the first variation is on the sofa you're going to put your hands on the edge of the sofa make sure you're comfortable you're not going to slide off and then you're going to go down as far as you can keeping your back and your neck straight and then you're going to come back up now that if that's too difficult for you there's an easier one you can do leaning up against the wall where you push off the wall and if that's too easy for you then we're going to go straight into one minute of press ups and we're going to focus on form so we're only going to go for 10. we're going to keep our elbows tucked in close to our bodies hands pointing straight in front of us body nice and straight chest down to the ground and that would be one and then up if that's too hard we just don't go as far so down halfway back up and if that's still too hard then we can go on to our knees try and keep our knees uh, bottom and shoulders in line and go down as far as we can comfortably so we'll do those you're doing really well nearly halfway through the workout And then we're going to get on to the next exercise. So let's do three more. Three, two, one. Well done. Halfway through, next exercise. Another core exercise, which is going to work your whole body. We did upper body there. The next one we're going to do is lower body. And you've guessed it is squats. So we're going to back up to the sofa. We're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. And then we're going to lower ourselves down as if we're going to sit on the sofa if you don't have very good mobility in your knees if you've got knee problems just go as far as is comfortable and then hold that position for 10 seconds and then come back up if that's easy for you then you can go all the way down till your bottom touches the sofa and then come back up this is really good for mobility in your legs it's really good for your lower back and also your core stability as well so you go down slow come back up and imagine a light coming from your chest. You want to make sure that your, your light is facing straight ahead. So you don't want to lean forward, pointing straight ahead. This is harder than it looks. So we're going down. We're going to do 10 repetitions of these. You're doing really well. One last exercise after this, and then we're done and we can have our cup of tea. So five more repetitions. Five. Four, I count slowly. Three, two, and the last exercise is for the only part of the body that we haven't yet covered, which is the midsection area. So we're gonna do leg raises, and for this, I'd like you to lie down on the floor on a carpeted surface, or you may need a yoga mat if you've got wooden flooring. You wanna lie with your shoulders nice and relaxed, hands nice and relaxed, and with your knees bent, you're going to bring your knees up towards your chest and then back down. That's one variation, which is slightly easier. If that's too easy for you, then we'll go on to that next. If that's too difficult, then you can just lift one leg at a time. So one leg up to 45 degrees, one leg up as high as you can while keeping the other leg bent. And we can do 10 repetitions of that, which will take us a minute. If that's too easy, then you can straighten both legs keep the ankles and knees together, come up, up to 90 degrees, and then back down. As soon as the heels touch, you come back up again. This does take a quite uh, strong abdomen and core. So if you can do this, you're doing really well. You can see me sh shaking, and it's because the slower you do it, the more difficult it is. If you use momentum, it's a bit easier, but we want to try and focus on technique so your body can benefit from the exercise and get stronger and more supple and that's it we've done that's our four minute healthy body workout
Excellent. Okay, and uh, share Sikhi this week, Benji. We're talking about, we're both the same thing. It's talking about the numbering system that Guru Granth Sahib, which is a really great system that Guru's had, so that no other shops could be sort of, you know, people couldn't tamper with the Barney and stuff like that and put other stuff in there that shouldn't have been there later on or whatever. And so that's really interesting. And also, Biceps is going to be talking about Nam and how the world was created. That's a really interesting piece. The effects of Maya. And finally, he's got a great little video in there about our big announcement, yes. right? Siki to the max for the mobile, it is going to be, I mean, I don't use this word lightly, that it's going to be revolutionary because this product is amazing. Yeah, you check this out in the video in a little while, but we know from our personal experience, Benji, yes. that how people have been really, really affected by Siki to the Max. I think with, without that share Siki segment, it is so valuable. We look at the numbering system, but share Siki to the Max has not just told everybody in it and, and guided everybody on, on what the Shabbos are, but it helps you yes. to understand the whole of the Shabbos, the context of where the Shabbos sits in Guru Sarang Saji Maharaj, how you can sort the index out. It's absolutely revolutionary. And this app now is going to continue to do the work that the Share Charity has been working on for so many years. It's going to, it's going to be uh, an absolutely mind-boggling app that's going to revolutionize everybody's lives. Absolutely. I've spoken to people, Benji, who are non yeah. and they've said, wow, is it you guys that made that? They didn't even know. And when they said, you know, one of the ones one guy, he actually shook my hand and he said, that's amazing, didn't he? He goes, that's really, really helped me connect with the Gurbani that I couldn't do before. So imagine this new app, which everybody can have on their phone. Oh my God, I can't wait for this to be released. It's, it's going to be brilliant. Connecting everybody. It's not just Sikhs, it's non-Sikhs as well. We've met Sikhs from Venezuela, Sikhs from Finland, yes, Sikhs from yeah. Russia that have learned Gurumukhi through the Gurumukhi app and learned about Sikhi through Sikhi to the Max. Yes. So Sikhi to the Max journey continues on the journey. Your donations go a long way for that. Yes. So share Sikhi segment is going to be absolutely empowering this Absolutely, week. which is why we ask for your donations every week because this is the kind of technology we are building for the next generation. Think this is going to be around a long after we've gone. But we're creating something amazing here. This is going to help people from all walks of life, non-Punjabis especially, and Punjabis as well. But also the fact that the Gurbani has been translated into Punjabi, easily accessible, but also into Spanish as well. Think of how many people from those backgrounds are coming to Sikhi now. Where do they go? This is a great app for them. And it, the resources on this app are amazing. The teams up and down the country, lots of people have worked on this. And you'll see when it comes out in a few weeks' time how it's going to change lives. It's amazing. As some of you may not realize, that there's a search facility on Siki to the Max, the desktop version of it, where you can search for anything. So I recently took my children to the zoo, and it's amazing how many different animals are in Guru Granth Sahib Maharaj. You've got elephant in there, you've got a snake in there. But what context is Guru Sahib saying talking about the snake yeah. or, the, or the or the elephant? Could you find that out just like that with Siki to the Max? You can. You can do a search for words on yes. anything, and then you get that information, and that that is absolutely revolutionary. That's invaluable. Yeah. Let's uh, let's watch this video. Hey guys, do you want to learn Punjabi? I have a great app that you can download to improve it. It is created by Share Charity in the UK and they are really amazing. The app has some amazing features and it is totally free. Yes, totally free. You can use it on your Android or Apple devices. Cool? Right. I want you all to be good people and learn Punjabi today. Thank you. So we're going to go through the numbering system that's in Gurbani. And we're going to use this Shabd here, Tanasri Mahela Noma, which is Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Shabd. Now if we look at the long number list at the end, that's what we're going to work out, what does that mean? So we're going to start at the top of the Shabd. Ab mein kaun upao karon, je bid man ko sansa chuke, onid par paron. Rahao. Now the Rahao is the center point of the Shabd. So in English terms, when we do singing, that's the chorus. So we go back to the chorus. And the Rahao being the center point is always a one. It doesn't count inside of the verses. 
the first verse is in Janama Pai Kachapalona Kino. That's got a one after the fourth line. That means it's the first verse. And then the second verse, Gurumata Sona Kachigyanana Upadio. That's the second verse. So that first number, the number two, means it's the second verse in the shabd. So we first start with Guru Nanak Dev Ji Shabd. So it says Tanasri Mahela Pella. So the Mahela Pella means it's the first Guru. The first Guru being Guru Nanak Dev Ji. On these Ang, we have Guru Nanak Dev Ji Shabd, of which there are four. As we turn the Ang, we have a further five Shabds here. So we're totaling nine at the moment. And then Guru Amar Das Ji Shabd starts. Because it says Tanasri Mahela Tija. So we have a total of nine Shabds for Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then we start on Guru Amar Das Ji. So Guru Amar Das Ji, there are, there are six Shabds here. We turn the Ang again, and there's a further three. And so there are nine Shabds in total for Guru Amar Das Ji. So if you look at the numbers at the top, there's a nine and a nine. So that's saying there were nine Shabds by Guru Nanak Dev Ji and there are nine Shabds by Guru Amar Das Ji. We move now to Guru Ram Das Ji Shabd because it says Tanasri Mahla Jota. So as we count these Shabds, um, there are three total here and as we turn the Ang, now that's a total of 11 because there's eight here on these Ang. And then if we turn over again, there are another two. So that totals 13. So if you look at the numbers at the top, the 13 there indicates that there were 13 Shabds by Guru Ram Das Ji. We come to Tanasri Mahila Panjava, which is Guru Arjan Dev Ji. We start counting those Shabds. So there are four. So there's a running total here going across these Ang. 11, 19, Twenty-six, thirty-four. Then we come to forty-four. Then fifty-four. And then we come to the final shabs by Guru Arjan Dev Ji to total fifty-eight. Guru Teg Bahadur Ji shabd start the Nasri Mahalla Noma. And there are four Shabds by Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. So if we look at the numbers, the 58 there represents 58 Shabds by Guru Arjan Dev Ji. The four there represents the four Shabds by Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. So at the beginning, we have four, meaning in the Nasri Mahla Noma, there were four Shabds. In the Nasri Rag in total, there were nine Shabds by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. There were nine Shabds by Guru Amar Das Ji. There were 13 Shabds by Guru Ram Das Ji. There were 58 Shabds by Guru Arjan Dev Ji. And there were four Shabds by Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. And the sum total for Tanasri Rag here is 93, which is 9 plus 9 plus 13 plus 58 plus 4. The body that comes out on the first shakta of Asakivar, by Apine Avasajo, Apine Rajana, Dui Kudur Sajikar Asana, Dit Hoja. So, Guru, why Guru first came into existence and Nam did, the second thing that was made was the universe. It wasn't the first thing, it wasn't with God, so it was the second thing. But when Why Guru's made the universe, he's actually watching it, and the difference, key difference between Sikhi and other faiths is that Wai Guru actually sits inside of it as well. It's not that Wai Guru sitting on 7th, ninth sky or 7th sky or somewhere else, Wai Guru is actually inside it as well. What does Nam actually do? Guruji is giving us instruction to Nam Jap to do Tia Ye, which is Tia An and Lana. You know, there's concentrate on Nam. He's saying repeat Nam, concentrate on Nam, and he said Arad. 
Arad means when you to see your hirda, that's the deepest part of your your conscious being, is when you place it there. And that means when you don't see you don't understand anything else but now. That's called Aradhana, that's called Hirda Vijvasana. So there's certain things that are actually in our hirda at the moment. For instance, our breathing, our mind is telling us to breathe. That's in our hirda, we don't know it's deep inside. It's telling us to do that. Like when Guru said, Jete saas gras man le, ta te te hi gun ga ye. Just like the mind is telling us, mind is it, it, telling it, the body to keep taking a breath, keep taking a breath. That's because it's in our hirda, it's stuck there. Now there's certain actions that we've done previously, in our previous lives, and also in this one, they're there as well. Those actions are there as well, and they form a pers our personality. They form that element of it, and they're there too. And that means some sometimes so a person who is, um, for instance, when we commit a sin, when we say someone's a thief, or someone's a slanderer, or someone's an adulterer, that in their hirda, deep inside, that thing's there. Where Guru's word is happening, where we're talking about Bani, where we're talking about Nam and Vaiguru, the corrupt person, his mind isn't in it. They don't want to sit there where this Vaiguru is being spoken about, because it's truth and their mind gets upset by hearing the truth. Guru saying it should take Nam into that place. So when we read this Shabbat, so Aisa Har Naam Te Aiyya Man Mere Jo Sabna Upar Hukam Chalai So Aisa Har Naam Jab Bhi Aiyya Man Mere Jo Anti Aosar Lai Shadai So Aisa Har Naam Jab Bhi Aiyya Man Mere Jo Man Ki Trishna Sab Pok Gawai So Gur Mukh Naam Jab Bhi Aavad Paagi Tin Nindak Dost Sab Pairi Paaye Nanak Naam Raad Sabna Te Vada Sab Naam Hai Agga Aan so there's five things Guruji said in there. The first thing is that Naam commands everything over everything. So Naam actually is in control of everything. The second thing is it saves us at the last moment. So when we die, it's Naam that saves us. It's not our action or something like that, or we've done a good deed over here. It's only Naam that will save you. The third thing is, it drives out Trishna. That's mind's desires. As we're carrying on living, we're building up all these desires. We want something else, then I want something else, and I want these things, I want all of these things. When I want those things, if I pass away wanting those things, that desire goes with us. So the desire that's there inside of us, deep inside of us, the thing that we're calling corrupt, is actually corruption. That desire, when it stays with us, leads us to another a life form, a different life form. So Guruji says that Naam drives out those desires. The fourth thing is, if you have love for God, of Bani, of Naam, and you repeat Naam, and you're in love with it, and then people are against you, that eventually those people will fall at your feet at one point. And finally, Vaiguru has made everybody bow to Naam. So that's what Naam is. Naam's power is, is quite immense. And so when we talk about, one thing I want to talk about around Naam is um, when we do Amrit. So when we get initiated into Sikhi, then what happens is Panch Pyare give a Gursik Naam. Now sometimes, when a Gursik is given Naam at that point, they get knocked out. What we call Kala. Naam is God. So that power, we can't explain what it is. And then that power has an effect on a Shud, what we call a Shud Hirda. And that means if someone who's got a pure heart, Naam has a massive effect on them straight away. Because Naam commands everything, it saves a human being at the last moment, it drives out desires, it makes the enemies fall at your feet, but it also, everybody bows down to it. That power, when that power decides that it wants to do something, it does it in a way that we can't understand. Sometimes our ideas of what makes for a healthy Anand Karaj may differ. In some cases, our ideas may actually be incorrect. 
especially for those who haven't grown up seeing examples of healthy marriages. Although every couple's relationship dynamics are a little different, there are certain characteristics that are commonly found in healthy relationships. Share Charity has taken the initiative to produce an infographic that tries to address this delicate subject by showing both negative and positive characteristics and by modeling some positive aspects in how couples should try to communicate with one another. The infographic is free and comes with a worksheet for couples to fill out independently and then come together and discuss. This helps couples improve their communications and also helps them recognize improvement areas that they may not be aware of. Life is full of stresses and we are kept so busy with our day-to-day -day lives. This sometimes means that couples do not get a chance to evaluate what is and what isn't working in their relationship. And it is just as important to align our spiritual, personal, social and financial goals. We hope that in the majority of cases, the framework laid out will help couples to evaluate, understand and improve their relationships. Please download your copy today and display it at your local Gurdwara and please spread it among your local community too. Why Guruji ka Khalsa, Why Guruji ki Fate. The new Sikhi to the Max application will be released in November 2018 in celebration of the 550th Gurpur Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Searching is very fast and there are many different types of search that you can use including an advanced search and first letter searching in English. The side menu is used to switch on translations and the transliteration. We've incorporated a lot of features to help the users learn Ladibar part, including Ladibar learner and also floating helpers. Getting the pauses or bisrams in the right place is very important while doing part. So there's a bisram facility that is also color coded and those colors can be configured. The app allows for easy navigation of shabs by swiping left and right and this is context sensitive so it will take into consideration if you are reading Gurbani in an index or in your favourites. One of the very exciting features is the new resources section where you need to learn more about a shab. You can go in deeper by reading a steeg, reading a book, watching a video or listening to audio. We are constantly adding more and more resources to each Shabd, so the resources section will become very very large very quickly. Keep a note of your favorite Shabds within groups and you can also swipe within a group when you're viewing those Shabds. The application also stores the history of every Shabd that was viewed by date, so you can view those at a later time. It also lets you look at a dictionary of words for that particular line and those words are from the Mahan Gosh and from the Darban and there's 120,000 words that are explained inside of that dictionary. Many indexes have been added to the application including the Amrit Kirtan, Pai Gurdash Ji's Vara and Kapit Svayye and also Hukum Name. A new reading section has been added to the application which allows you to have a full reading experience from indexes for the Guru Granth Sahib and Dasam Granth. The indexes are split by Rag and Ang, so you can quickly get to where you need to. And there's also separate options for the viewing, so that the view that you have of a normal Shabd versus the view that you have in the reading section can be totally separate and individualized. And in this menu, you can do various things like adding bookmarks, color coding the lines, and also even adding notes to Shabds. The app is Chromecast enabled so you can actually click on the Chromecast button and cast the Shabad which gives you a navigator. There are various settings like color themes and keeping the screen alive that you can go into the settings section to change. Get the latest videos and Instagram posts from the share charity sites and also donate through this 
About section in the application. The app will be released in November, so please watch the Share Charity Show to get more updates. We created a video about Maya and used an example of some um, youth in Punjab who were um, doing some a drug habit and a lot of people got confused as to why we were using that example. Maya is anything that really distracts you from God in its essence. And so with these individuals, they were really engrossed in what they were doing and they didn't really care about whether it's affecting their body, affecting the people around them and actually making them forget God. So here's a video about how that example was used to explain what Maya is and the three principles by Guru Amar Das Ji which make it very clear in our Anand Sahib. When we think of Maya, sometimes we assume it is just money. But Maya appears in many forms and Guru Amar Das Ji explains that it has three qualities. Firstly, Jit Harvisra, anything that we do which makes us forget God after being distracted is regarded as Maya. Secondly, Mo Obje, when we become attached to a created element of the world, then we are in Maya again. Thirdly, Pao Du Jalaya, when we start loving something that is only temporary, that is another form of Maya. So Viji, who have we got on our viewers' video this week? Our two lovely children, by Deep Singh, He's only 10, wow. and Jodhrup Gaur is only 3, and they're doing part together. And it's really sweet because the brother's teaching the sister how to do part. He's the younger one, and uh, this is really nice. Let's watch this. It does see. It's going to go. It's going to go. Satnam. Satnam. Kutta Pura. Kutta Pura. Nipo. Nipo. Nirvar. Nirvar. Agalmur. Agalmur. Nipisabal. 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 We're coming to the end of another great show, Benji. Yeah. But before we go, just a reminder, if you haven't already, please download some of the apps we've created, like the Learn Gurmukhi app, which was uh, to, to help people learn Punjabi yeah, for the next generation, right? Through technology, right? Through an app. And we believe you can learn Punjabi through this app in 28 days. Now, I know Punjabi schools up and down the country using are using it, right? But I also know, Benji, you don't teach yes. in a Punjabi school. You teach in a private school, uh, yes. and that, attended by everybody, right? Yes. And you use it as well. So I had some uh, parents approach me because it comes up as a, as a club that their students can get involved with, Punjabi club. And they said, could you teach our, our child who's not Punjabi speaking? So wow. white Gora student at my school. And I was like, OK, where do you start to wow. teach a Gora child Punjabi? And the Learn Gurmukhi app was absolutely fabulous. Excellent. So I've got, you know, my students from my students who are learning Gurmukhi, learning Punjabi through this app. It's a wonderful app. And uh, I know my mum, she teaches my daughter with it. So grandparents oh, can brilliant. use it with their, with their children as well. Great tool. Great yes. tool, isn't it? And, and also, don't forget the Sikhi to the Max uh, app as well, which we spoke about earlier on. It is going to be amazing. It's out in a few more weeks' time. You are going to absolutely love it. It's going to blow your socks off. Uh, anything else we want to talk about before so, we go? Uh, competition deadline, I think, is, is, is approaching really, really fast. Now. That's so right. if you haven't found the time to take that picture and send it Get in, your you stuff must, in. just to Get send it in. it in. And finally? I think it's very important to say happy good Bob. Happy good Bob to the whole Sangha, to the whole world. So what please, amazing, amazing good Bob. Continue your love and uh, share, like us, follow us on, on uh, Instagram and Facebook yep. and uh, YouTube donate. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Please donate, please help wherever you can. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care. <laughs> So because Punjabi comes up on the club list, they said, oh, Mrs. Cole, could you teach our child Punjabi? I was absolutely taken aback. Where do you start to teach a, you know, white... Uh, non-Punjabi? Non-Punjabi. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Punjabi. <laughs> she just carried on. She just carried on. You could have carried on. Okay. Sangaji, on today's show, we've got a. a, a, a Okay, you lot, give me examples of the word letter. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Well done, Putter. Thank God. So, yeah. <laughs> I had teacher G. Oh, to butcher no pro. That is so arcade. Joa can you revise on my Is it recording? Yeah. Where'd you go, Kaza? Where'd you get that suit from? It's a bit blingy, isn't it? It's is really nice. <laughs> I want to get one myself. <laughs> Thank you.